Rama Mama Mashi Kandaraba Tiandaraba. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. A blessed good morning and greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to each and every one. Welcome to the household of faith this morning, to my Facebook friends and family and viewers this morning who will be locked on this morning. The members of the God Will Provide Ministries who will be locked on. We welcome you this morning and we anticipate a great and a mighty move of the power of the Holy Ghost this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you this morning, God. We praise you. Hallelujah. Oh, Rebishi Kiramanda. Yeralarabasi Aramanda. Heavenly Father, we come through your Son, Jesus Christ. We enter your gates with thanksgiving and we enter your courts with praises. Father, we repent before our holy God this morning. All oh, we say and we are sorry this morning, Lord. All oh, we worship you this morning, Abba God, this morning. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you this morning. We praise you. Hallelujah. I just want to read a scripture that is taken from the book of John, chapter 14 this morning. Holy Spirit has downloaded some information into my spirit, man, that the church, that the body of Christ is confused this morning. And I want to encourage you. I welcome you, Sister Lindsay. God bless you, Sister Anne. God bless you this morning. Hallelujah. And I'm reading, if you want to get the Bible, I'm not the preacher for this morning, but I just feel led and impressed upon my spirit man this morning to read the scripture. We are not a confused people. Amen. Because we have the Holy Spirit this morning. And John chapter 14 Verses 16 says, this is Jesus is saying to his disciples and his people, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide in you forever. So the Holy Spirit is abiding in you forever. Even the spirit of truth and the Holy Spirit Spirit is the spirit of truth, amen, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. It is Jesus was saying that the Holy Spirit, the people of the world, the unsaved people do not know the spirit of truth. They do not know the Holy Spirit. For he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. The Holy Spirit wants to be in you. Jesus said the Holy Spirit will be in you. And I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. And Jesus was encouraging his disciples that even though he have to leave, that he would not leave us alone. He will send the Holy Spirit. Spirit to comfort us. But you see me because I live, you shall live also. And that day you shall know that I in my Father and you in me and I in you. So we have nothing to worry about, church. If the church, the people of God, the disciples of God is not filled with the Holy Spirit, you will be confused. And people will be allowed to brainwash you. So if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you will not live in the shallow, but you will live in the deep. You will know 
what is the will of God for your life. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you and direct you. One scripture says you need not any man to teach you, but the anointing in you will teach you. So when you have the Holy Spirit, you have the anointing, the power and the presence of Jesus Christ. Amen. So I just want to remind the church, if you are confused, the body of Christ, then you need to get filled with the Holy Spirit. And we welcome Brother Rennie this morning. God bless you. I was just sharing a quick word here from John chapter 14. Verses 16. That the church, we recognize that the church, the body of Christ, the disciples, the kingdom, men and women, that they are confused. And the, pe the people who call themselves kingdom man and kingdom woman and disciples of God, if you are confused, you need to check if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, if you have the Holy Spirit abiding and living in you. Because this is what Jesus was saying here, that the Holy Spirit wants to abide in you. Just like the Holy Spirit abides in the pastor and the leaders of the church, the Holy Spirit wants to abide in every person this morning. So I just want to leave you with this quick scripture and this quick word, with this quick revelation, this food. Amen. So I'm giving you the answer this morning. Why you are confused this morning. There is no clarity. Nothing is clear to you. You are dependent on another man or woman to lead you and guide you and direct you and hear from God from you. But do you have to have your own personal relationship with the Holy Spirit? Amen. And I pray this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will unlock every air, spiritual air, to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. What the Spirit is saying this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we pray this morning that you will walk through every home this morning. That you will visit every home this morning. That there will be an open heaven over every home this morning. Everyone who is locked on on the Facebook Live, on the Zoom this morning, that you will just begin to fill them with your sweet Holy Spirit. That the Holy Spirit in them will be a witness with our spirit that we are the sons of God. That you will give them clarity. All those who are confused, we bind up the spirit of confusion in the name of Jesus. And we release clarity this morning. Fill your people with the Holy Spirit this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for opening up every portal unto us this morning. We declare that the portals of heaven, they are open unto us this morning. Because we have the Holy Spirit this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, karamasi, karamando, ramande, ramanda. I am not the preacher for this morning. Pastor Anil is going to bring the word after the worship this morning. If there is anyone would like to testify this morning of the goodness of God, you would let me know this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. So before pastor comes on, we can take a testimony this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to sing thank you, Lord, this morning. I come before you today, and there's just one thing that I want to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For all you've given to me, for all the blessings that I cannot see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. With a grateful heart, with a sound of praise, with an outstretch arms, I bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you. Lord, thank you, Lord, for all you've done in my life, 
You took my darkness and gave me your light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You took my sin and my shame. You took my sickness and heal all my pain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Hello, baby. Brother Ronnie's granddaughter. Say hello. With a grateful heart. With a sound of praise. With an outstretched arm. God bless your name. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you thanks. Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah, you know, as I came home from my grandchildren this morning, um, last night, I just started to feel the presence of the Lord, and you know, we started to worship God in this house last night, and pastor kept worshiping and worshiping and worshiping, amen, we had a prayer party in this house, we had a worshiping mantle in this house last night pastor begin you know to worship the lord and i was telling him you know when the anointing began to flow and the power and the presence of the lord came down in this house you know i was telling him that i missed my sunday morning worship amen, amen. and the pastor the people of god get clarity welcome sister wendy and the pastor this morning the people of god let the Holy Spirit lead them and guide them and direct them. It is the fast that a church will be open up. I want to let you in this morning into a revelation. Pastor may not like what I'm going to say, but I want to say it on Facebook anyway. My food comes from the from the, the throne room of God. Amen. I get and I want to let you know this morning that the church is keeping back the reopening of the church this morning. The body of Christ is keeping back this morning the reopening of the church this morning because the body of Christ this morning, they are confused about the vaccine. They are anti-vax this morning. And I want to let you know this morning you are allowing certain ministers to brainwash you into not taking the vaccine just like these ministers have the holy ghost church you have the holy ghost this morning and my husband and i and we are fully vaccinated amen we are ripe and we are ready to start back church but somehow the church is dead this morning pastor you know why because too many ministers they are anti-vax they are against the vaccine amen the one thing that is good for us they are kicking against us because they have no direction from the holy spirit and i want to let you know these men and women of god who are speaking against the vaccine they have no relationship they have no holy spirit in them because they themselves they are confused and they are confusing the body of christ this morning church i want to let you know if you have the holy ghost inside of you you will not be confused this morning come on church i'm not telling you to take the vaccine this morning but i'm telling you let the holy ghost lead you and the longer you take the church is being so rebellious this morning that they make up their mind look i'm not gonna take this vaccine then you will stay closed down amen, amen. amen. the longer you take and it's not the government amen. that is blocking pastor the reopening of the church it is the kingdom man and kingdom woman who are anti against this vaccine this morning our let us worship god this morning because it looks like so goes the church pastor so goes the world amen so goes the country because the church is blocking the reopening of the building amen 
I don't need you to agree with me. All I need is the agreement of the power of the Holy Spirit this morning. You must come in agreement with the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit this morning. Amen. Let's continue to worship our King this morning. <clears throat> oh, we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is raining all oh, around Lord. me. I can feel it. It's a lot of rain. So ride on Jesus. Stand on my oh, rings. Yeah. Till we are wet, wet, yeah. wet. Till we are soaked, soaked, soaked. In the light of rain, come on, church. It is raining all around me. I can feel it. It's a light of rain. So ride on Jesus. Stand on my rain. Till we are wet, wet, wet. Till we are soaked, soaked, soaked. In the light of rain, when I went to the enemy, and I took back what he stole from me, what he stole from me. He's under my feet, he's under my feet, he's under my feet, he's under my feet. Sit on, he's under my feet, when I went to the enemy's camp, and I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet, he's under my feet, he's under my feet, he's under my feet. Say it on, it's under my feet, hallelujah, amen. And the Holy Ghost is restoring back to you health this morning. If you are sick in your body this morning, the Holy Spirit wants to give you back your health. The book of Joel, the prophet Joel said, it is the locust and the cancom and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, these demons, these evil spirits that have been eaten away this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. But God is going to restore in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Ghost, your health this morning. Receive your divine miracle this morning. Oh, we thank him for signs and miracles and wonders through this broadcast this morning. All those who are locked on in Facebook, all those who are on the Zoom this morning, Holy Spirit touch, rain down oh, this morning, heal God. sick bodies this morning, oh, deliver God. your people from oh, oppression, God. depression, frustration, sickness and disease and viruses and infection. Break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. There is power. In the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up to break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain. Father, this morning, oh, Lord, take us Jesus. to another rank, Lord, and another level, oh God. We are in your army, Lord. We need to go to another rank oh, this morning. Jesus. Oh, Lord, 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 Jesus, Jesus. Oh, we worship you this morning, God. You are worthy, Lord. Just break every chain. Loose the captives this morning. Loose the prisoners this morning. Oh, loose all those who are in prison walls this morning. Some of you 
and you are in prison walls this morning. There are spiritual prisoners around you and you cannot see it, but this is the time. Begin to worship. Begin to do warfare this morning. Begin to pray. Rise up, church. Rise up, my church. Say the almighty God. Rise up, church. Oh. Rise up, my people. Rise up, my church, this morning. Rise up this morning. Oh, I'm raising up my bride this morning. I'm raising up my people this morning. Our people points for battle this morning. Hallelujah. And God is saying this morning that he will fight for us. Oh, we need not worry this morning. We need not fear this morning. We rebuke and uproot and bind the spirit of fear in your people and cast it out. Oh, release belief in your people this morning, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Ikaramandu. Let us really worship. Let us really get in this morning into the presence. Let us go deep. If you have the Holy Spirit this morning, you, sh you should not be in the shallow this morning, Hallelujah. but you will be in the deep this morning. Hallelujah, Lord. Karamando. Holy Spirit, rain down. Rain down. Father and friend, oh, we need your touch again. Holy Spirit, rain down, rain down. Let your power fall, let your voice be heard. Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit, rain down. Somehow, church, the Holy Spirit is showing me that the bottle of Christ, they are, they are stuck. They are stagnant. You are in a deadlock. Because you are confused this morning. Let the Holy Spirit this morning break that deadlock spirit and begin to move you into the direction of Jesus Christ this morning. All those who are in a deadlock and you are stuck spiritually, we take authority and we bind up the principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness and high places of deadlock in your spiritual life and we cast it out we release divine progress and success in your spiritual life you are in a deadlock because you are afraid you are procrastinating you do not want to take the vaccine because you are afraid to die come on we are a people of purpose we are a people of purpose we have purpose and god will not allow his people to die without fulfilling purpose i want to let you know church the Holy Spirit will not allow you to do something that will avert God's purpose in your life because we are the hands and we are the feet of Jesus this morning. We are the voice of Jesus this morning. No, I have seen. No, I have heard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What God has in store. Open up heaven, open it wide, over your church and over our land. Holy Spirit, rain down, just rain down. Holy Spirit, rain Let your power fall and let your voice be heard. Come and change our hearts as we stand on your word. Holy Spirit, rain us rain down all those we bind and cast out the spirit are lukewarm
calmness and coldness in the people this morning. Oh, let your fire fall. Let your glory fall. Deliverance mantle fall on your people. Miracle mantle fall on your people. Father, oh, release our miracle mantles in every home this morning. Men marriages this morning. Deliver the oppressed this morning. Oh, Holy Spirit, deliver the alcoholics and the drug addicts this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, release your miracle deliverance mantles that make the captive free. Oh, break the chains. Oh, we give you glory. Let's worship, church. Oh, let's reach heaven with our worship. We must reach Jesus with our worship. He inhabit the praises of his people. Hallelujah. He wants to hear your voice this morning. Worship moves the hand of God. Oh, it's worship that exalts and enthrones him this morning. Oh, let's edify him this morning. Hallelujah. Church, you know what the angels are doing in heaven and the elders. They are bowing night and they crying. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Oh, if he inhabits the praises of your people, then he's waiting on your praises this morning. Oh, we give you glory, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, this morning, we thank you, Lord, that there will be no interception and intervention of the enemy against the service this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove every distraction, Lord, from your people, oh God, that they will not be distracted, oh God, with cooking, oh God, with anything that the devil has set up this morning, but they will take heed to your word. They will pay attention to your word, oh, they will receive the engrafted word, that they will be a doer, not only a hearer of your word. And this is a problem that Jesus addressed. He said, oh, only be a hearer, but be a doer of the word of God. Father, this morning, we thank you for your people who are locked on on Facebook, who are locked on on the Zoom, who will be here in the service after, Lord, that you will give them unlock their spiritual head to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying, or oh, that you will feed them, God, fresh bread from the ovens of heaven this morning, oh God, as Pastor Anil comes to feed your people this morning your people will begin to eat oh god eat your word to eat oh god the seed of your word that they will grow up oh caraman robo take it to a beautiful tree that will flower and bear fruit that day they'll go and make disciples okay remember romo so for we rebuke and bind the stealer and cast them out of Stealer, you will not be able to steal the word and the seal of God this morning. It will accomplish whereunto the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost have sent it today. Oh, your word, Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet. Jesus, oh Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah, Lord, Hallelujah. I coromondo era mama 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, Pastor. Can you speak all who are on Zoom this morning for me? Haramande, Sister Wendy, can you continue to pray for about five minutes this morning or less? Continue to pray, Sister Wendy. Hallelujah, Lord. Sherry, Andrew, you are Miss Nisya. Wendy is not here. Okay, Pastor Sherry, go ahead and pray for us. Wendy, we go next. Pastor Lydia, is me one pray? Yes, Sister Wendy, and then Sister um, Sherry will go. Go for Sister Wendy. Yes, 